Hello everyone, my name is Matt Carr, this is Doris the cat, uh, but this is Doris the octopus, and today we're going to learn how to draw Doris the octopus. Right, so there is Doris the octopus. We are going to try and take that Doris the octopus and put her on here. It probably won't look anything like... Doris but let's have a go. So I'm going to start with a pencil, I'm going to start with the head. Now out of all my characters that I've drawn she's not too difficult to sort of just do freehand. She's got a little, she's going to do a little hat. I'm putting a hat on straight away. Um, now when I first, basically, Doris first appeared, um, when there was, everyone was having to wash their hands, um, so I did a little poster just to send to schools or schools could download, um, featuring Doris saying wash your hands and own, she only came into being because um, of the uh, terrible joke, but because she's got obviously eight sort of arms, so she's got more hands to wash than everyone else. So um, that was the only reason. Um, I mean, and then from there, it sort of it didn't go. You know, you could say, oh, it went crazy. It didn't go crazy, but um, quite a few. Schools said, um, we'd like your poster, so that was nice. And then my pub publisher, Scholastic, got in touch and said, oh, we're trying to do a washing your hands thing. And we would love you to do a book with Doris. And obviously, I was like, yeah, that's Doris would be happy with that. She's a bit low down, isn't she, in the, anyway, don't worry, on the page. Um, so the thing is, that she's got a lot of legs, obviously, or arms. Are they legs or are they arms? I'm not sure. Anyway. But they're quite good for grabbing onto things. You know, she can hold a lot of stuff. I mean, if you add sort of four legs and four arms, let's say, which she's sort of got, then, you know, you could do a hell of a lot of stuff. And, you know, if you could stick to walls, you know, climb up walls, that would be good. Uh, there's a lot of good things about being a... Octopus, octopus. Um, obviously, she's highly trained as well. She's been through medical school, got all her qualifications. So when I first did um, Doris, the hat she had was more like a nurse's sort of hat. I didn't. I wanted to make her look like a doctor, but it was quite difficult because she's. I couldn't put a coat on her because. She's obviously got loads of arms, so she, imagine what sort of coat she would have to wear. Um, so I opted for a hat, and first of all, I did a sort of nurse's hat, and then I put a little peak on it. So it's a bit like, um, you're not going to know this reference, but there used to be a TV show called MASH. It's a bit like the doctor's hat in that. All about army doctor but um that's going back a very 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 long way this is not a particularly good version of doris she's sort of all over the place um and then i thought i'm going to give her a stethoscope um because i thought well i've got to make her look doctory and that seemed to be a good way of doing it, but I don't know. I 
don't know what else I could have done really. Anyway, there she. I mean, the thing is, when you do a character, you end up. That's it. You've got to do. It. It's got to be done. So, and also, I had to work really fast to get this book finished. Um. So there was no time. It's quite nice. There's no time for mucking around. You just got to get on with it, which I quite like, to be honest. There, there she is. Now, oh, she's got to have a lot of sort of on her. I wouldn't know what the technical term is. Sort of sucker things on her tentacles. That is a lot of. There's a lot of them to do when you're doing this book. There was a lot of putting these little round. I've gone a bit. I'm left-handed, as you can see, which I don't want to moan, but you end up smudging everything. So I probably will smudge everything later when I colour it in. So I'm just doing these rough. Obviously, you can see that they're, they're kind of... Can you see that? A bit different. They're, they're sort of like donuts, is what they look like. But obviously, if I did that, we'd be here all day. So I'm just going to do them as circles. Well, I mean, that's not bad. Um, there she is, right. I don't know how people do these draw along videos and just literally do it in pen straight off. I take my, I don't wear a hat, but if I did, I'd take it off. I'd say I'd take my hat off to you for doing that because I can't do it. They fill me with dread, to be fair, because I'm not particularly confident at doing them. Anyway, there, there she sort of is. She's not looking too bad, actually. Right, I'll tell you what, though. We've got to put some stuff in her arms. Look, <laughs> arms, legs. So, um, let's do that. Let's put a towel. So... This is basically on the poster. This is exactly how she was, sort of thing. She had a towel. I sort of think. I thought to myself, what could she have? What would she have? You know, what would she be carrying? And the towel was one of the things. And a sponge. Let's just put a sponge here. Great word, sponge. Sponge. I mean. It's a word I can just keep saying, sponge. It's like the word rusks. Rusks is a great word, rusks. I love words like that. Right, I'm just putting that in. She's holding a sponge there. She's gonna have some, she's got liquid soap. She's got the two types of soap. Oh. So, okay. Also, if you could see the way I've set this up, I am, I've put, to, to get, to be able to draw this, I've got a plank of wood, um, a stool, and then another sort of stool thing. And then I've got a, an iPod taped to the plank of wood. So, and I'm kind of trying to draw underneath that, so. I don't know why I'm moaning. I'm not moaning. I'm just giving you the facts of... I'm trying to make excuses why it doesn't look very good. It's not bad for me, to be honest, because a lot of my drawings look horrendous. Oh, eyebrows. Always forget eyebrows. There. Right, there she is. I think she's looking pretty good. Let's just see. Look, brilliant. She's slightly wider, but... The good thing about octopuses is they kind of, they, they're quite 
they change shape, don't they? So you can kind of get away with them looking different. Right, now, shall I... I better, hadn't I? Right, clear that off. Rubbing, lots of rubbings out. I'm going to try and colour it in now. Colour her in, sorry. Colour the drawing in. Um, here we go. This is when I don't like it, because if I go wrong now, I've got to start all over again. So nerves start to set in. Okay, here we go. Ready. And also because I'm left-handed, I smudge. So I start over this side and move across, hoping that I won't smudge. Right, we're going to do it quite quick. she is. Right, now I'm going to colour her in. Lovely pink. And there she is, um, all finished. Um, I might just put a little speech bubble. There it is, a speech bubble. I haven't done that very well, but anyway. Now, wash your hands. So she's got a very important message, obviously, to wash your hands, to keep germs at bay. Um, and I just spotted that. I always miss a bit off. And that. So anyway, there she is. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed learning how Doris came about and how to draw Doris. Um, and I'd love to see what everyone else can do because I'm sure you could do a lot better than that.